No, I don't waste no time How you doing guys and welcome back to a new video and in this video I want to show you how you can think in systems and in funnels. So what I want you to gain from this video is literally you know how you can see things in terms of a funnel and how you can start implementing different types of funnels into your flow so you can get more calls booked for your agency. Okay, so let's just start at the start and start with what we want to gain from having a presence online because this is going to be focused primarily on um, on organic outreach because obviously, you know, once um, you get to the point where you can start running paid traffic, you know, these things are obviously very relevant, but not necessarily as critical because obviously you've got paid traffic to rely on. So this is organic outreach and then um, funnels and systems. Okay, so if you're not yet at the point where you can run paid traffic for your agency, you know, this is going to be a very, very relevant video for you guys. So let me just get me pen tool, there we go. So organic funnels and systems. And obviously what we are trying to gain from all this is a close, right? We want to gain a client. So the main goal, what we're going to try and reverse engineer is how we can get a close for our agency. So in order to get a close, um, well, I should use the smart drawings to neaten things up a bit. There we go. So in order to get a close, we obviously need to get these clients on a call. There we go. So in order to get clients on a call with organic outreach, primarily you guys are doing the Loom method, which I obviously teach on my YouTube channel as well. So we got Loom, and then at the end of the Loom, there's a call to action to book a call. Now, as I teach you guys on YouTube, in the coaching, etc., as well, we don't send the loom as our first point of contact. We only ever send the loom if they agree to it. Why? Because if you're sending out 20, 30, 40 looms a day, that can be very time consuming and very tiring. And let's face it, you won't be able to send 100 looms a day, but you will be able to send 100 emails a day, 100 Facebook messages a day, 100 Instagram DMs a day, and so on and so forth. So what we do is um, we actually send them an email asking them if it's okay to send a loom. And only once they respond to that email, uh, positively of course, do we actually send that um, loom video. And the great thing about that is, like I said, it's not as time consuming and you've given them or we, they've given you permission to actually send that loom so they'll be more in, you know, inclined to actually watch it as well because that's another thing that I get um, quite often. The question is, how come people are not viewing my loom? What am I doing wrong? And I'll view the loom and it'll be a good loom. It'll be a good video. And I'll ask them, have they given you permission to send that loom? And they'll say no. And then, yeah, well, you know, obviously if someone sends me a random video, a random loom that I didn't ask for with advice that, again, I didn't ask for, chances are I probably won't even watch it. Okay, so email to loom to call to close. It's just sort of like the primary um, method of organic outreach, right? I'll just move this over here. Now, in terms of how we can see this as a more effective funnel, is there a way to move this across? No, okay, forget it. Okay, so in terms of how we can see this as a more effective funnel is obviously by knowing the numbers, at every point of the flow. But also what we want to do is we want to make sure that as much marketing is done on the front end as possible. Because let's face it, this is a very common approach. This is a very common funnel. Everyone is sort of doing this type of outreach. Okay, why? Because it works, it's proven, it's effective, and it doesn't cost a lot of money. You know, there's, there's no actual cost uh, financially you know, involved in this unless you get a data scraper, which I do recommend, by the way, it is an investment. Get a data scraper to scrape those emails, get an email automation software to send out those emails at scale. Um, and yes, okay, there will be a bit of a financial investment on the front end, but it will 100% be worth it. Okay, so how can we sort of separate ourselves from everyone else with the same flow? And like I said, this has got to do with a concept uh, which is basically marketing versus sales. 
Okay, so the more marketing you do, the less sales is needed or the less selling is needed to get the deal over the line. Okay, so if we look at, for example, at cold calling, you know, with cold calling, there's no marketing at all because, or hardly any marketing at all other than you introducing yourself. Um, so you need to do a lot of selling to get the deal over the line. Whereas if it's a referral, all of the, all of the marketing, etc., like they know who you are, what you do, what you're about, what you can offer and what you're capable of. So, you know, all, all of that marketing basically equals less selling that, that you need to do uh, to get that deal over the line, okay? So what we need to do is use that concept with our funnels and think to ourselves, okay, how can we make sure that we stand out from all the rest? And a very easy way of doing this is by adding your socials to this system or to this funnel. So for example, with the emails that you send, a very simple way of changing the generic email from you know a professional email or an email that shows your personal brand is obviously the signature. So if you have the signature at the end of the email and in the signature you've obviously got um, you know your Facebook page, your LinkedIn page, I don't know, your, your Instagram, your, your website, etc. You've got all that on your email signature. That shows them more about your business, more about yourself, more about you know, results you've gotten in the past and so on and so forth. And that is what you need to show on every single one of these, um, on, on, you know, on these platforms. So um, I'll save you guys, well, I'll spare you guys me trying to write that out. So Facebook, um, what we want on our Facebook page is on the cover photo, uh, mention who we are and what we do. And not just a generic, I help businesses get more money with Facebook ads. Everyone is doing that guys. Try and be a bit more specific, try and go a bit more niche specific as well. So results, testimonials and so on and so forth. Let me just make that a bit wider so it all fits nice and neatly onto the one page. Okay, so that is what we need to do on Facebook. Then same thing again, basically on LinkedIn, right? So again, there's a cover photo on LinkedIn, make sure you utilize it, have your results, have your testimonials there and start you know, posting a few viable pieces of content so that when they land on your LinkedIn, when they see your cold email, and they click on your signature, they see your LinkedIn, um, you know, they know exactly who you are and what you are capable of, okay? Same goes for Instagram. If you use Instagram for your business, um, if you don't, I highly recommend you do. I do think it's a very underutilized asset. Um, you know, have, rather than your cover photo, have your highlights um, showing what kind of Facebook ad results you've gotten, what you are doing on a daily basis, because they don't necessarily buy into the agency or anything like that. They usually buy into the person, okay? At least I do. I always look at, okay, what, what kind of client is actually running this business um, and is that the type of client that I actually wanna work with? Um, so make sure that your highlights are showing, you know, what you are doing with your agency, what kind of results you're getting, what kind of, um, you know, testimonials you have and so on and so forth. Um, and then with the website, same thing again, right? You know, on your website, um, you basically need to have um, you know, proof, proof that you, know, you can do what you do, uh, info on the business, you know, about you, how did the business get started, um, which is actually more important than a lot of people think. Like a lot of people just create a simple about me page, but if you really go into you know, the vision and the strategy of the agency, um, you'll notice that people will actually be drawn to that. If you've got, if you've got this whole um, I don't know, let's say, you know, you're, you're, you've got a family run agency or something like that, you know, you've got um, family members involved and you put that in your about me page and there's a, I don't know, a big e-com store that actually started off as a family business or that is also run with, I don't know, the brother or sister doing the sales or the outreach or anything like that, you'll notice that you'll immediately have rapport because they know what it's like to have another family member as part of their business and you know how good it is basically to keep you know everything within the family and so on. I'm, I'm just rambling on here guys but things like that things that you can separate your use to separate yourself from other agencies is good proof info on the business and again testimonials and results testimonials and results and then basically what you want to do and this is why I, I told you guys at the start of the video think in terms of systems and funnels okay they are on your Facebook page what do we how can we get them now to become a client what we can do is we can direct them to book a call, okay? And what you need to realize is no one will go onto your Facebook page and book a call directly. But if you have something on the front end, because again, like I said, guys, we need to think in terms of systems and funnels, right? Like this, this is our funnel, 
Okay, so it's obviously you know this is this is your regular funnel, and um, then you've got your top of funnel here, your bottom of funnel there. This is the same thing, but then you know obviously upside down or sideways. Okay, so this is the top of the funnel, this is the bottom of the funnel. At the end of the funnel, obviously, you know, we get our clients, so we have our close. Top of the funnel is where they're not really, you know, aware of who we are, what we do, and so on and so forth. So we need to basically guide these people through the funnel as much as we possibly can. So the Facebook page, um, you know, where you have your cover photo, the results, etc., they will not book a call cold. At least, you know, a lot of people won't. Um, but they've had the email beforehand. Because of that email, they've clicked on your signature. Because of the signature, they've they've seen your Facebook page, your cover photo, your results and then they'll be more likely to book a call. Okay, same goes for LinkedIn, same goes for Instagram, same goes for your website, okay? They'll never organically find your website unless you spend you know, years and years sorting out your SEO, etc., cetera, um, or your own paid traffic, of course, but that's a story for a different day. Um, they'll never find your, your website organically, but they don't need to because you've sent that email on the front end, okay? So this, in terms of the, you know, if you use Facebook terms for this, is your top of funnel, this is your middle of funnel where you retarget people um, and get them to book a call. Now, if you notice that that is still something that is difficult to do, that they are dropping off, you know, in your middle of funnel, so to speak, then what you can also do is have a case study page, okay? And a case study page or a portfolio page, you know, whatever you want to call it, I just call it case study page just to, for the sake of it. Um, and this page has, again, has a strong call to action to book a call. But that case study page provides them with a bit of more info on your business. So maybe a small video about, about who you are, what you do, how you got started, results that you've gone for others in the past, and who you work with. Um, and then just the same testimonials and cover, cover, photo, uh, cover photos, testimonials and results that you've gotten for your previous clients. So then they get the original email, they click on your email signature. Bear in mind, like this is retargeting, right? So that they're getting their email and then ask them if it's okay to send a loom, that is your initial you know, flow. So people that don't directly do that, you know, obviously you can retarget with more emails, so you can send the email to and email free as well. But because you've got that email signature uh, where you have more info on your business, etc., you know, they will go to these other platforms and then from there, you can send them to the case study or directly to book a call, like I said before, but send them to the case study and then the case study obviously upsells them on the call, okay? So that is your middle of funnel, that is your top of funnel. And that way you can separate yourself from the rest because marketing is done on the front end. The less marketing you have on the front end, the more selling and the more pitching you need to do on that call, okay? I've had a call previously where it was a referral. They literally, you know, heard what we were capable of. It was a 15 minute call, 2K clients, you know, literally a 10 minute close. We didn't even speak about the terms or anything like that, guys. Like it was literally just, hey, you know, see that you're based there and there. How is that? Okay, you guys are based in Amsterdam. How is Amsterdam life and so on and so forth. It was just getting to know each other. And then I was like, okay, well, you know, we're literally ready to get started. Um, what's the next step? And I sent over the contract done deal within, like I said, 10, 15 minutes, another 2K client in the bag. And that is because, you know, before that, before they hopped on the call, they knew exactly what we were capable of because they were a referral. So they already know, knew that, you know, we were capable of getting them good results. All they needed to know is, or all they needed to do then is have a face to the name and get on the call with me. Okay, so the more marketing you do on the front end, the less selling you need to do on the call. The less marketing you have, the more pitching you will need to do on the call, okay? so. Takeaway point from this video is look at your socials, look at your emails and say, okay, how can I think in terms of systems, think in terms of funnels and make sure that I can guide more people to get in, you know, to, to book in that call. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.